as well as by Barry and Jim, by marvellous Mr. Hagner. How was he tonight, Tyson, for you? I, I, I went as I expected, which I told you guys, you gentlemen, earlier. I expected one or two rounds. Don't if be it, No, no, no. <laughs> but if it went... <laughs> no, he did say it. Did. No, but, but uh, if it went past eight, I would give it to uh, Julius. To, to. I think uh, it showed a little bit more uh, inexperience that uh, Julius need a little bit more time and with the better opponent uh, before he continued to fight for a championship fight. Uh, in my opinion, again, for Tyson, um, Tyson, for Julius, look exactly like Lennox Lewis. And uh, I believe that this is the picture in which Tyson wanted to see. In his mind, he only seen Lennox Lewis for the title. He's hungry for that again. But as I predicted, one, two round, gentlemen. But, <laughs> but anyway, uh, again, I want to say one thing. Uh, uh, it was very nice being here in Manchester, and it was a great fight. It doesn't rain all the time. No, you know? what I loved the most, there was no violence. There was no bottle throwing. There was nothing. We're all this right was, uh, it was a very good uh, night for boxing. And there was no transgression of the rules either. And it really, it was almost at the, at the beginning that he grabbed a hold of him. He landed that first shot in the first round, and really you knew then that it was going to be a short night. He had terrific power, and once he found his mark with Julius, it was just a matter of time. He landed that right hand straight through the guard, and it really was only a glancing blow. The hook and the uppercut followed, and he's tremendously dangerous in, inside. Tyson is so, he's so ferocious up close. You see that again from the same angle. And watch the right hand misses. Well, what's the left hook? He has to pull it back, look for a position, but even half of the blow, glancing blow, just cocks him around the back of the, the bottom of the lug. That was enough to knock him over. He has awesome power for a heavyweight. And as Marvin said, he's really up for it. And he was in, uh, you know, he's in a really vicious mood tonight, and he wanted to get this over early. That right hand, left hook again. He's, he's ferocious. Great combination. Good hand speed. A great hand speed tonight and power. Yeah, see, the thing is about natural power, which Tyson has, it doesn't always look powerful. A couple of the knockdowns looked as though what happened, did the Julius stumble over there? But when you've got real fierce natural power, it doesn't always look the part, but Tyson has that power. Jim, yeah. going into round two, we, we hope that Julius Francis might change his... He admitted, he, he actually thought, and I know it's happened to Mike Tyson opponents for a lot of years, but when it comes to it, your plan can go out of the window, and Julius has already told us that his plan went out of the window. Well, yeah, but it was an opportunity to be macho man, and he didn't want to pass that opportunity up. You can't blame him for that. But what I wanted, I wanted him to do himself proud. He got off the floor five times the last time the referee stopped the fight. Julius didn't quit. He didn't stay on the floor. He did himself proud. Everybody's happy with him. Well, you know, Julius really didn't embarrass himself because he went in there with one of the best fighters in the world. Um, he showed a lot of courage. To climb in between those ropes takes a lot of courage. I mean, and if you can imagine what it feels like to to sleep in the night before this big fight, and you're fighting a guy which they call like King Kong in Italy, the Iron Mike in America. I mean, hello. I mean, what do you want to do? I mean, you uh, psychologically you cannot sleep. Jim, here's round two. Yeah, well, already he's done better than Michael Spikes, uh, Bruce Feldon, Carl Rhodes and a few others. He got into the second round, but by that time the job was done. Julius, by this time, was doing his best, going through the motions, but he knew as well as Mike Tyson knew this was going to be the last round. But once this guy has you going, uh, uh, he just won't lie. He's relentless. Once he had him, he had sucked Julius in. Julius went in with a plan. He says he's going to try and box him. But you can't do that with someone like Tyson. He draws you in. He makes you fight his fight. Uh, and once he starts hitting you like that, you know, uh, it's just... The main thing is, Julius it. kept fighting back. He kept getting up, the, up off the floor. He kept fighting back. So Absolutely. He's, he's done himself proud. Nobody short, can compare to him. Right, Jim. People were expecting a short fight. They got a short fight, but they also got a good fight. Jim, what I seen was a great fight tonight. I've seen a lot of courage from Julius. Yeah. But what I've seen also was the hand speed of Tyson and the power. Power, that's right. You know. The power, which I say, doesn't always look powerful, but those short shots, every ounce of his body but goes behind those shots. What was interesting was it's the position that he punched from. He moved his feet when he was in the wrong position. He quickly reshuffled his feet, moved his position, and got through with those punches. And Julius was covering up as best he could. But, you know, this guy, when he gets you going, as I say, when, he has, when he's on a roll, when he gets his punches going and throws them in bunches, you look at that for a moment, a big heavy man, just moves, moves quickly to the side and 
he shot that punch up through the middle. Tremendously impressive stuff. Well, you know, for me, in the beginning, when I started seeing the fight from the beginning, it almost looked like a Frank Bruno uh, rematch. I mean, I mean, the same punches that Tyson used with Frank Bruno, he used with this guy. More from the chaps here in just a moment or two. Let's rejoin Adam Smith downstairs with Nicky Pfeiffer. Nicky, well, they're impressed with Tyson upstairs. What did you think? How clinical a job did he do? The best he could have done? I think so. It was a great fight, great atmosphere, and what, what short though it was, I think Sky Girls may have seen the return of the old Mike Tyson. He looked great. He was really fit, um, heavier than he normally is, but uh, quite trim, and uh, I think Julius Francis he came to try, you know, he went down quite a few times, took some heavy shots from a man that uh, is a really big puncher. So let's give Julius some credit, but uh, Tyson looked awesome. Glimpses of the old Tyson, but can we really judge it against Julius Francis, who, let's be honest, was written off before the first bell? Well, no, I suppose we can't, can't really judge it, but uh, you get little glimpses of the old Tyson, and uh, I think that's enough for me. I, I, I'm happy and privileged just to see those, you know, it was great. And for Julius? Well, Julius was never expected to win, so you can't say it's a, it's a, it's a knock for his career, but uh, he's still a British and Commonwealth champion. He can go on from here, and uh, there's a lot of money to be earned. He can be proud of himself, I think. And if Tyson gets in the ring with Lennox Lewis, who wins? Well, I still say Lennox Lewis. I've always said Lewis is the best. He's 6'5", he's got a good jab, and uh, he's the man to beat Tyson, but it'll be a great fight. Thanks very much, Nicky. Marvellous, Marvin, I know you want to go, but just sum up your feelings about this Tyson well effort. you know in the beginning honestly I was very nervous behind the fact that Tyson out of 10 years haven't fought outside the country of America and you see what happened with him with Buster Douglas which Buster Douglas uh, talked earlier yeah. but uh, I was kind of nervous that by him being out outside the country uh, and fighting in a strange place that maybe he might remember that same night in Tokyo, but deja vu. But he forgot about that and went out and did a job. One of the reasons that you are a legend of the ring to so many people, not only did you have the physical attributes, but as a warrior you had the mental strength over a long period of time to keep producing. Do you honestly think that there are three more proper nights work inside Mike Tyson before something terrible, God well, forbid, happens in his life? It depends. Tonight was an easy fight for him. I mean, he has to go back to the go back to the gym, go back to the drawing board, board get ready for a much tougher opponent, as which uh, Lennox Lewis, which is a, few, a future opponent. Uh, hopefully, he can make uh, some serious money there, uh, and hopefully, maybe it's in America, not in England. <laughs> <laughs> we loved having you. But Thank it would you. be a great fight, though, Lennox Lewis and uh, Mike Tyson.